So the Champion National Hunt Flat Race will close off the Grand National Meeting then and just a four or five runner field I think. Let's take a look at them. It's Fresno Park at the top for Vinnie Gerrard. Blinded for Graham Clutterbuck. Revolve for Darren Thompson. Snaggletooth Joshua Sutherland and Wishes Eyes for Leon Van Rensburg. So, a thrilling Grand National Meeting comes to a close then with the National Hunt Flat Race and Witch's Eyes is going to be the first one to show from Blinded in second and then Snaggletooth as they sort themselves out through the first furlong and the packed crowd have stuck around for the final few races of the meeting after the big one earlier today and what a thrilling race it was and Snaggletooth is in the lead from Blinded in second and Rivoli's third and Fresno Park fourth and Witch's Eyes is just at the back in fifth. Now Snaggletooth is bowling along with a three quarter length lead from Blinded in second and then Fresno Park third, Witch's Eyes fourth, and Revolve fifth. As they make their way up the straight for the first time, and these two Snaggletooth and Blinded have pulled themselves five or six lengths clear of the other three. Which is eyes Fresno Park and Revolt, so the top trainers in this uh, the National Hunt Flat Race, which you'd think would attract the lower trainers, wouldn't you? But they know whether the some of the bigger trainers actually target these races or not, or they just put them in when there's not a decent race for them to go. And I suppose it's, it's good for horses that are highly handicapped. You can't get into the handicaps. I suppose they can sneak into these if they're a novice. And Snaggletooth is in the lead from Blinded in second. And a big, big gap back to Revol in third. And uh, Witch's Eyes fourth and Fresno Park just the back marker. There were some small fields this week as well. I think one or two people forgot to enter or just didn't enter. Paul Rhodes has said that he forgot to enter, which is a shame when it's a big meeting. I just do. He's doing better on the flat these days and maybe flat racing. Saving himself for the last couple of weeks of the season, some big group wants to come over on the flat. Whereas you could argue that this is the pinnacle of it all on the jumps really the last two weeks. Cheltenham and Liverpool, although next week they've got lots of big long distance handicaps, Scottish National and also Punches Town to come still. And and the big finals at the end of the season, plus those big French Group 1 races to come as well. They're always exciting, so there's plenty still to race for in the last three weeks of the season. Well, last two weeks of the season. It's come round really quick, hasn't it, at the end? And let's hope that we can rebuild on what we've got and come back next season with a bigger and better league. But it's Snaggletooth in the lead, blinded in second. Witch's Eyes in third and Fresno Park fourth and then Revol somewhere drift in fifth so they're pretty well strung out Snaggletooth has got them all thinking about it and is well clear with three furlongs to go Blinded looked to be the biggest danger but that one now looks to be treading water Witch's Eyes is starting to run on Fresno Park likewise you'd expect Fresno Park to have a turn of foot being a Vinnie Gerrard horse maybe related to some of his flat sprinters but Snaggletooth at the moment has got them all pushing and scrubbing. And the jockey has a little look around and he doesn't seem to be overly concerned at the moment. They're into the final furlong. Joshua Sutherland is probably tearing his hair and thinking, well, doesn't he just make sure of this and win because there's no handicapping to be worried about. But he's going to hold on, I think. And up towards the line, Snaggletooth takes the National Hawk flat race on which his eyes blinded. Fresno Park and finally Rival. So that's your Liverpool meeting. Then we'll get the connections all this and then we'll shoot off back to headquarters for a couple more races there today I think we've got a walk over later in the day but Snaggletooth has taken it no we haven't got a walk over we've got a race with no entries I think still we'll be commentating on that one <laughs> Snaggle, Snaggletooth takes it Joshua Sutherland is the trainer which is eyes for Leon Van Rensburg second blinded Graham Clutterbuck third Fresno Park for Vinnie Gerrard fourth and Revol for Darren Thompson Oz fifth